Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. In today's video we are learning how to ride a motorcycle. This is the beginning of the new series of me learning how to ride a motorcycle. And here are just some clips of me riding around and having a little bit of fun. Um, I have practiced prior to recording these clips and videos, but it is really, really fun. Um, and I hope that you guys enjoy this journey as we start this new series. As you can tell, some of the clips clearly are not going to render properly, and that's just part of the process. Some of these clips, when they were transferred, were not um, conserved. I can't think of the right word right now, but as you can see, the quality is really low. There are a few clips in here that are low, but I hope that you still stick around and enjoy, because there's a lot more to it than quality, I suppose. Anyway, I'm sorry for the low quality. Um, not all the clips are like this, um, just some of them. Anyway. So one big thing that I learned while riding a motorcycle is it is, turns out, very different from riding a bicycle. However, the principle of balance is almost the same minus the center of gravity is different, the weight is very much different, and so is the power. I don't have to pedal, so I'm not balancing constantly. However, it is really fun, and it's very freeing, and it, it is very, something extremely enjoyable. I do recommend that everyone, you know, give it a try. It is definitely a different mode of transportation um, but it also saves you a lot of money on gas so while I was learning this kind of like feeling out the clutch the clutch and the tension zone and working on braking and being balanced while going through everything speeding up slowing down getting comfortable with the throttle is that experience really carries over that you know, the more you do it, the quicker you learn it, and the more comfortable and confident you are on it. And more importantly than comfortable and confident is you are capable. And it's definitely something that's going to take me a while longer to get used to. I need to start practicing a little bit more frequently. As you can see, I'm very excited. I feel very accomplished. Uh, we're back to a low-quality clip. Um, but it is... It is something very different. Um, getting used to letting pulling the clutch in and letting the clutch out while shifting. Um, getting used to using the front brake and the back brake at the same time, because turns out if you use one over the other, you can kind of uh, jerk the bike one way or the other, and it can kind of make you want to topple, uh, go one way or the other. Uh, also, the front brake is way more powerful than the back brake. The back brake is used by your right foot, while the front brake is used by your right hand, and the throttle is also on the right hand. So that's also a learning curve that I had to really work through, is using the front brake without ragging on the throttle. Right now I'm working on circles and figure eights and this is just to get me used to turning and leaning just a little bit. Right now I'm riding the tension zone from the clutch and um, you know slow and steady small steps I'm getting there. There's a lot more I'd like to share with you guys so if you do enjoy this series or like the idea of it please let me know. Um, I am very excited uh, getting a chin mount soon for a helmet so we can do more in-depth videos and we'll be using uh, my actual camera gear. So thank you for watching the video. If you do like it please let me know. I'll see you in the future.